Welcome back to the 562.org. It's Tyler, and this softball highlight is brought to you by the fine folks at Naples Rip Company. And all of our softball coverage this season has been sponsored by Board of Education member Megan Kerr. On the road in Temple City, St. Anthony looking to end their season with a win in the D3 SoCal Regional Championship. The Saints underdogs in this bracket. They went on the road and beat the one seed, now looking to do the same to the two seed. But the host Rams, they were getting loose before the game, getting a chance to play on their home field in the last game of the year. And they have a good one in the circle, sophomore Cassandra Gawecki. But for St. Anthony, they can counter with senior Rose Cano, who was also pretty darn good inside of that circle and it was a pitcher's duel early. Cano struck out the side in the first frame, uh, definitely making her presence felt in the early going. St. Anthony didn't get their first base runner till the top of the third. Samantha Dodge with a base hit back up the middle. Dodge, Rams, truck yeah, she's fired up. The Rams though, solid on defense. Comebacker to Gawecki turns into a one, six, three, double play to end that threat. She's fired up about it. Had a bunch of balls actually come back to her today and fielded her position well. Bottom of the third, Mia Guerrero with the leadoff single for Temple City. Didn't hit it hard, but put it in a good spot, and she's geeked. Next batter coming up, it's going to be a sack bunt. The Saints get the out at first, but the throw down to second is going to be wild, and it's going to go all the way to the fence. That's going to allow Guerrero to come all the way from first and score on the air. It is 1-0 Rams in the third inning. Home crowd is into it and right on top of that dugout as they take the lead. Now bottom four, Cano just missing the strike zone. Uh, Might have been getting squeezed a little bit and she ends up walking the first two batters of the inning. Kind of uncharacteristic for her, but another rally started for Temple City. Now with the bases loaded and one out, Cano with some clutch pitches. The strikeout for out number two, you can see fighting through some discomfort. Her back was bothering her all game. Another massive strikeout to leave the bases loaded. Cano stranded seven Rams on base throughout this game. Gutsy performance by 4-5. Saints though need runs. Miracle McKenzie with a one out single in the fifth. And she's going to then move to second as the error allows this one to get to the fence. That St. Anthony dugout has been waiting to get going, but she's going to be stranded at third on this ground out to first base. Nothing doing, but the Saints starting to get closer each inning. Top of the sixth, threatening again. Sack bunt by Destiny Avila is going to move Dodge to second base with one out after she led off the inning by reaching on an error. She wants to come home desperately, but Gawecki makes some big pitches against the top of the order. A strikeout for out number two. She had four Ks on the day. Then this fly out to left field is going to strand another Saint in scoring position. Now only three outs left as we're headed to the seventh. Rose Cano leads off the inning and smokes this one past second base. Was expecting a first pitch strike and she jumped all over it. That's a rally starter. Courtesy runner Angela Orozco going to come into the ball game. Next batter, Natsa Leomiti going to work a walk here. That's going to put two on with no outs. The tying run now in scoring position for St. Anthony. Next pitch gets away from the catcher. That's going to allow both runners to move up. No sack bunt needed. Go ahead run now at second base. Now in the immortal words of Al Michaels, do you believe in miracles? Yes! Miracle McKenzie up the middle. Two runs come home to score. St. Anthony takes the lead. In the top of the seventh, they were down to their last three outs, and Miracle comes through. Huge moment for a freshman. This team just never quits, and that dugout erupted. Now knowing they are three outs away from a title, Cano itching to get back to the circle. Hey, I'm all for the chance, but i got work to do. She wants to get out there and finish this thing off. She starts the inning with a strikeout, then allows a single. Now Cano's seventh strikeout is the second out of the inning. The Saints are now one out away from a SoCal regional title, but the Rams not done. Leadoff hitter Sheridan Gonzalez drills a ball to the wall in right field. Destiny Avila, a great job getting to it. The Rams do not score on the play. Guerrero is stopped at third. Gotta give credit to the Saints right fielder Avila. She had to be perfect there, and she was. Any bobble, and Temple City would have tied the game. They do have two on with two outs. Big pitch here, 3-2 count. It's a ball into center field. Dodge is there to make the catch, and St. Anthony wins the SoCal Regional Championship with a terrific seventh inning comeback, scoring two runs late to snag the 2-1 victory. 
Head coach Joe Younger handed the championship plaque, has done a great job with this group. They had some unfinished business they wanted to take care of this season, and they ended up winning their last game and leaving a legacy here at the school, first team in school history to win this SoCal Regional. Everyone gets a chance to hold the gold. A really key senior class on this team, but also a ton of ninth graders and a big accomplishment here for a really strong and growing program. And it's not official till it's on TikTok. Everybody wanted to know what I would do if I didn't win. I guess we'll never know. Congratulations to the Saints, Division Three SoCal Regional Champions. We want to thank all of our sponsors, including Ocean Law Center, for their support of local sports coverage. We hope that you've enjoyed all of the 562's coverage this season and appreciate all of your support to help us do what we do. Congratulations again to St. Anthony, capping off a terrific 2021-22 school year.